Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In this video, we go through successive differentiation, that is higher order derivatives. But unlike other video lessons, in this video we will be focusing only on a special type of problem. So this is more or less exam oriented video. Anyway, it's a very important and a very interesting type. So let's start. Okay, so point number one, um, we are going to do problems which involves the first order and second order derivatives. So I'll tell you once more, we are interested in problems which involves the first order and second order derivatives. Anyway, I hope you are familiar with the notations. So let's say we have a function y equal to f of x. The first order derivative is denoted by dy by dx or maybe y dash or maybe f dash of x or y with a dot. This is used mainly in vectors and of course y1 and uh, sometimes capital dy. I am sure you are learning. Um, differential equation so you know the importance of this notation and second order derivative we write as d square y by dx square and some people will read this as d2 y by dx2 it's correct and y double dash f double dash of x uh, y double dot this notation is mainly seen when we differentiate vector functions and y2 and d2y or d square y. So these are the standard notations which we need to do a special type of problem. Okay, I will repeat once more. In this video, we will be focusing on problems involving second order derivative. Since it is an exam oriented video, let us start right away with a problem. So write the question. Are you ready with pen, paper and stuff? Yeah, so let's start. So please write. If y is equal to sin log x. Note it. It is not sin x into log x. This is a chain function or a composite function. That is sin of log x or sin log x. Then you are supposed to prove. I will write pt. You read this as prove that x square into y2 plus x into y1 plus y is equal to 0. Okay. So as I told you before, in this video, we are focusing on problems involving second order derivative and that also a special type. Okay. The method is simple. I will give the steps. So the first thing to do you find the derivative as usual you just find y1 so what will you find first yeah we find y1 first derivative and if you don't like to write y1 you can use any of the notations which we have used over here okay now what we do is we check for three things in y1 the first thing we check for fractions so we check whether y1 contains fractions or not okay so we don't like fractions there is a treatment for that now second thing to check the second thing to check is square root okay so when you differentiate once and if you find square root okay that is another cross Anyway, take a small medicine. Yeah. And the third thing, the third thing is sometimes when you differentiate the given function, you know how to find y1, right? You have the given function, you differentiate once, you get y1. Now, sometimes when we differentiate the function, we may end up with the given question. One of the best examples is e to the power x. If you differentiate, you are going to get the same thing. Okay. So, 
in this case what you do is that means if you see the given function itself for example when you differentiate and if you see sin log x popping up, popping up somewhere what you do is you call it y so who's that person you differentiate and the given question or a part of the given question pops up so that means you should read the given question from left to right as well as right to left and this is a very serious enemy you have to note all these things and the treatment for fraction is you multiply the entire expression throughout throughout you multiply the entire expression by the denominator and the treatment for square root is squaring on both sides so what do you do you square on both sides and the treatment for the given question popping up is just call the given question as y okay um, you won't understand until we do a problem so i'm going to start right away with the problem okay now look at this we have we have y equal to sin log x and when i look at that prove that part i can see that i want y1 and y2 so like i told you in step number one we find y1 once more i'm warning you um, this is not a product this is a chain this is a chain function sign something sin x the derivative is cos x so sin something the derivative is cos the same thing times what is the derivative of log x into 1 by x so i'll repeat once more sin something the derivative is cos the same thing times the derivative of this shaded part 1 by x now what should we watch out for fractions square root and the given question uh oh i can see a fraction over here wait a minute what's the treatment for fraction yeah you multiply by the denominator what's the denominator here x so i multiply here and here on both sides with x so i'm going to get x into y1 is equal to cos log x okay end of story so look at this what we do is we find y1 and inspect fraction yeah we have fraction here so i took the treatment what's the treatment for fraction multiply throughout by the denominator and i check for the next villain root x or root no 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 there is no square root here i check for the final villain given question given question is sin log x but here we have only cos log x so step number one successfully completed okay now step number two is uh, what do you call eliminate all the uh, let's say the villains so we already did it now number three you have to differentiate it again you have to differentiate it again now look at this uh, I'll make it clear later, but for the time being, you have to bear with me. I hope you remember product rule. Are you able to see a product here? And you have to understand the derivative of y is y1. Now, if you differentiate y1 again, you're going to get y2. And if you differentiate y2 again, you're going to get y3 and so on. So, what might be the derivative here? So, I'm going to write differentiating again with respect to x. So, x into, I have to apply product rule, x into, yeah, y2. Because the derivative of y1 is y2. Plus, y1 into, what's the derivative of um, x with respect to x? 1. Is equal to, yeah, again function of a function. I hope you're able to see the chain function here. It is not cos x into log x. This is cos of log x. So, you have to imagine the function to be cos something whose derivative is minus sign the same thing. 
times 1 by x. Okay, I forgot write step number 4. Now I will write. Step number 4 is the same thing which we did after differentiation. Check for the villains. Is the refraction? Yes, there is a fraction. Is there the any square root? No. And did the question pop up? Uh oh, the question has popped up over here. So what should we do? What's the treatment? Okay, if the question pops up, look, the question is sine log x. But who is sine log x? Y. So whenever the question pops up, you have to replace it with y. So that is exactly what I am going to do now. y1 equal to minus y by x. Now again I am checking. Oh, there is a fraction. What should we do with that fraction? Multiply throughout by x. What do we do? We multiply throughout by x. So we get x into x. That will be x square y2 plus x into y1 minus x and x will get cancelled equal to minus y. That's it. x square y2 plus x y1 plus y equal to 0. So that is a very 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 important problem uh, in successive differentiation. Okay, let's do more problems and make it uh, clear. So look at this. Before we proceed, uh, I want you to understand a few things. Suppose we have x square into y1. Let's learn how to differentiate this. Are you able to see a product function? I hope you are able to see a product that blue into red. So the derivative will be, suppose if I differentiate with respect to x, I will get first function and the derivative of the red one that is y2 plus y1 into 2x. Now let's say the question is 1 minus x square into y1. So what will happen if I differentiate this? Okay, as before I hope you are able to see the product u into v. Yeah. Okay, now what we do is we apply the derivative, the product rule, first function that is the yellow one and derivative of y1 that is y2 plus second function into derivative of first. Okay, now tell me how do you differentiate tan x the whole square? Yeah, it looks like a chain. Something is being squared. So the derivative will be 2 into the same thing to the power 2 minus 1 times the derivative of tan x is 6 square x. Okay, now look at this, the main point y1 square. Okay, I want you to focus on this. Just imagine this is something squared. So, we get 2y1 times, what's the derivative y1? y2. Okay, now let's do one problem. So, the question goes like this. Please write, if y is equal to sine inverse x, so what is y given to me? sin inverse x then prove that 1 minus x square into y2 minus x y1 is equal to 0. So look at this when I look at the question I can see we need y1 and y2 to prove this and how do you identify the problem is a special type problem very simple you find the first derivative and you will know that. Okay. I find the first derivative. So, what is the derivative of sin inverse x? 1 by root under 1 minus x square. Okay. So, I can see a villain here. So, tell me what all things should we worry about? Yeah. Fraction, square root and given question. I can see a fraction here. I can see that. I can see a fraction. I can see a square root. Okay. So, let us start with the remedy. So, I am going to clear that fraction first. So, I am going to write root under 1 minus x square times y1 equal to 1. 
Now I can see one more enemy still he is still the square root. So I am going to square each and every term. So when I square this the root disappears I get y1 square equal to 1 square is 1. Now one more person is there. Did we get the question? No, 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 nothing related to the question. So that's it. So once you reach this part, you have to differentiate again. So what are you going to do now? You have to differentiate again. Okay, so you can write in the exam, you must write differentiating with respect to x. So I hope you are able to see the product u into v and let's start. So first function and then what is the derivative of y1 square? We learned a while ago that is 2y1 times y2. Put a plus. Now second function into derivative of first is equal to the derivative of 1 is 0. That's it. Done. Um, I can see the answer. It's like 2y1 y2 minus 2xy1 square equal to 0. Now look at this. There is something uh, with which we can divide throughout the question. And in most of the questions which they ask in your university level problems, this 2 and y1 might be common. So always look out for the 2y1. So that's it my friends. We have the answer. The method is so smooth. We will end up with the answer like kind of like directly to the answer. Okay. So that is a small video. We learned a new type. But in the next video, we will do a lot of problems based on this type. My aim in this video was to make you understand uh, how the new type looks like and two examples to make you understand how to work out uh, this special type. I hope uh, you found the video useful and if you find the video useful please like, share and subscribe. I will be back soon. So till then my friends, bye.